Collaboration is critical on large system projects. Engineers throughout the project team need to be able to exchange data throughout the project life cycle. When changes happen, oftentimes design cycles are increased, causing our systems and machines to take longer to get to market. To address this issue, Rockwell Automation has introduced collaborative engineering features in Logix Designer version 32 to enable a data exchange between your electrical design package and Studio 5000 Logix Designer. Being able to exchange this data throughout your project lifecycle enables you to have your systems released to market faster, more efficiently, and with better quality. We're going to take some time to show you a little bit more about these features and how they can help you. ePlan provides controls engineers an environment to quickly and efficiently develop their control systems. The engineering platform allows the data to be consistent and transparent throughout the entire design process. This also includes the PLC data that will be needed by the application engineer to develop their PLC program. Let's take a look at how the PLC data exchange via AML works in the software. As an electrical engineer, I would like to lay out my PLC bus topology and hardware configuration directly in ePlan. ePlan provides a bus navigator to be able to visualize how the structure of the PLC system is in the software. We can see a switch, a PLC chassis with a controller, and a remote I.O. rack. Now we would like to take this information created in ePlan and send it to the application engineer. We can simply, in ePlan, export that data through the PLC export data menu and send all of the configuration and bus topology and hardware information to AML. Once this information is exported, now we can pass that data onto the application engineer so he can develop his program. Now we're going to take a look at importing the automation ML file into Studio 5000 Logics Designer. From here, I'm going to do a file open and select my .aml file. This .aml file has all of the details of the PLC and I.O. and its relationships that were created from ePlan. This data can be used also throughout the engineering chain of production systems in an open and standard way. So here I'm going to open up that AML file and then select my project controller. Because many times our drawings will be created for a system with multiple controllers, we have to then select the project controller that we want to create in Logix Designer. From here, we're also going to select the I.O. modules and bus structure that we want to import as well. Finally, we're going to import and create that ACD file that's going to contain that data. So we see here, we're getting some results in our window. And then also you can see on the left in our I.O. tree, we have the devices and bus and net structure that my ePlan engineer has created for me in that environment as well. At this point, we were able to import that data from ePlan and not have to manually recreate this here in Logix Designer, which saves us lots of time and it provides better quality. Recapping what we've shown you, working collaboratively within a digital engineering team allowed us to bring your systems to market faster, more efficiently and with better quality. If you'd like more information about what you've heard today, please contact your local authorized Rockwell Automation Distributor or your local sales office. And as always, you can find more information on rockwellautomation.com.